guys, assalamu alaikum. It's Jenna G. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. We're on our third and final video for this week's video schedule where we're using dashing bush. Today's video, we're going to be making some gold sahina. So sahina is a classic Chinese street food fried Chinese street, street food here that I absolutely love. So there are two ways to go about making this sahina. The first way, I have a video up on that, you guys can check that out, involves basically combining all the ingredients and then scooping out to fry it. This particular one, the rose sahina, is a little longer process, a little tedious, but to me, I actually prefer it this way as opposed to the other way. So of course, the upload versions with the recipes will be up on my website, you guys can check them out. The ingredients pretty straightforward but the main ingredient is that dashing bush so let's jump into this rural sahina video now we need uh, the most important ingredient which would be the dashing bush leaves or they also call taro leaves so usually this is what we use when we make in callaloo um, you would have seen the baji rice video as well and the other type of sahina but in this one we are not going to be using the stem so we are going to we only going to be using the leaves going to be using some green seasoning, some salt, some saffron powder, some roasted jira is going to go in there as well, lime juice, some flour, some split piece flour, uh, powder and we're going to be using some water as well. So I'm just going to start by removing the, um, the stems from them. I'm just going to give them a rinse. Just going to rinse them out just a bit and then we're going to work on the paste that we need. So I'm going to just be adding the flour to the split peas powder. Oh, seasoning smells so good. In goes the seasoning. I like these things to be very much well seasoned. The salt, the saffron powder and the roasted jira. So you can add, you know, as much as you like in this one. Just going to mix this up and you're going to add your water and some of that lime juice. Dashing bush, have some, it tends to like scrap some people's throat. So they put the lime juice to kind of help with that. Alright, so we've got our paste here and we've got our washed leaves. So let's go to the next step. The paste and step. So when it's time to work with the dashing bush leaves, right? You want to basically use the leaf fat. And what we're going to do is this is the face, the side up. We're flipping it over, and this is the way we're using it. But you see this little part here? You want to just remove it. If it has a hole, this hole here, don't worry about it. Because when you roll it up, it will be poking through and um, it might cause your your roll to, to burst. So you see these leaves are huge. So like this part here, just remove it just so that you wouldn't have your roll. Wow, these are some huge leaves, boy. My gosh. Just snipping them off just because we didn't want to use that hard piece. Now for the paste part, the consistency of it shouldn't be too thick, right? So you're just going to rub it on the leaves basically. So what you're going to do is stack your leaves this way, as I just mentioned, on top. Now, we're going to start off. This is a ginormous leaf. I cannot believe the size of this leaf, y'all. Look at this. This is huge. Check that out. One leaf, that's like one. And all I'm going to do is just take some, well, using your hands, right? And you're rubbing it on. You're really piecing it on and you're just going to stack the other leaves on top of it. So like how you're going to put this one on top of this, you just want to, wherever you're putting it on, like make sure you have some piece to help it to stick on, if you understand what I mean. So like under here, should I really have some? Just 
take that on. Right. So now the next step, rinse off my hands there. The next step now would be to fold it like, so like you see how here it does not have any, put some so it will stick on. Right, do this side. Great. And now you're just going to roll it up. Great. So now that we have this roll, going to put it to freeze up a bit so that when it's time to cut it, it will be easier to work with. So we're going to put this in the freezer just for some hours to harden up a bit. So I'm just going to put it into a bag. And we're going to put this in the freezer. Instead of freezing the log, another option would be to steam it. I prefer the freezing way, but let's just say you want to try to fry it for less time, less time in the oil. What you can do is take that same log, instead of putting it into the freezer, what you're going to do is steam it. So if you have like a steaming pot, go right ahead, steam it for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. Or you can wrap it up in foil and you can put it into boiling water and let that steam cook through it for about 10 to 15 minutes as well. Then you can put it to chill for a little while, let it is bit, make it uh, easier to work with so it won't be as piped and hot. You slice in it and then you fry in it. But for me, I prefer the freezing way. So once it's, we are leave it in the freezer for a little while, it firms up, it makes it a lot easier to work with. Now this part, you can slice it however thick you like. I like mine on the thin side, so I'm gonna uh, cut them, slice them up pretty thin. I didn't let them freeze thoroughly, but that's okay. You just have to be careful with it because it is a little bit delicate. So have your oil heating in the meantime. Slice them up and we're gonna fry them one time. Right, so for the next step now, you're going to be very gentle with it, right? So I like to use a spoon and pick it up. Now you can paste on top, on each side, with more of that paste that we made early on. I prefer no paste. If you do want to add the paste, go right ahead. If you need to make extras, it's the same way that we made it, and you're just gonna paste on each side. But I'm not, I like to see the rolls of the dashing bush in it, so I'm just going to fry it just like this. So you wanna make sure that insides have enough of the paste when you're layer on, layering on the um, paste onto the leaves. Just make sure that you put enough on it. And we're just going to basically fry these now. So if they were completely frozen, you wouldn't have to be, it wouldn't be this delicate. So just remember that, freeze it all the way and mix it easier to cut and easier to work with. And then all you're going to do is basically put them into the oil gently. And you're just going to fry them on either side until they're nice and golden brown. So this here guys is exactly how I love to have my rolled up sahina. So you can see the rolls of the dashing bush here. I did not coat it with the extra paste on the outer um, on both sides. But that's all up to you just remember that so if you want to use the same paste that we did when we were layering the leaves and add it to either side this is my absolute perfect rolled up sahina 
So Sahina guys, second option, a second way to go about making Sahina. And like I mentioned, my preferred version. I love it on the thin side, but if you want to do it fatter, uh, you can do that. Some things just to be mindful of, it was sort of hard to explain it, but the thickness of the Sahina or the width or the, the size of the Sahina will really depend on how many layers of leaves that you have stuck there. So just be mindful of that when you are layering your leaves, do not spread it out too much because when you start to roll it, it's going to result in a thin log and if you want them more on the larger side, stack them on top instead of laying them out two by two. So I really hope I explain it so you guys can understand, understand it, but until you start doing it, then you'll really realize or understand what exactly I'm talking about. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this with my version of Wood Sakinas. Hope it was helpful if you do want to give it a try. I know it can be a little bit intimidating with the pasting and the different steps and the slicing and the freezing and all of that, but it's really not that hard. So I definitely encourage you guys to try it out. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to message me and ask me or comment down below. So if you did like this video, of course, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to share it with all your friends and your family. Share it with somebody who just might be interested in trying their hand at road sahinas. So thanks so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video's uh, lineup using dashing bush. We did the callaloo, we did the baji rice with the chicken and now we have some fried sahinas. Check out all the videos, the links will be posted down below. Thank you as always for watching guys, always very much appreciated. I will see you all in the next